Hey guys, Naders here. In this will be my fifth video where I make movesets on characters that I want to see get into multiverses. All of these videos have been over pretty obscure characters and this video is no different. And to be honest, if I am only known for making movesets on obscure characters, I'm perfectly fine with that. I've always tended to like them more than super popular characters that everyone wants. And to me, if I make fun movesets for them and make a few people want them in the game, then I've accomplished something. Today, I will be going over my favorite DC character. And yeah, I know we already have a lot of them in the game, but I'd fully expect to see a good amount more. DC has hundreds, dare I say thousands of characters to choose from, so they might as well pick a few of them. The character that I chose for this video is not one that many people would think of. Actually, I think it's pretty safe to say that I am the only person who wants this character. And if I'm not the only one, I'm probably one of two or three. The character that I am talking about is Kemo. This is probably the first time that most of you are seeing him, but he is in fact my favorite DC character. To give some background, he was made by a scientist who would pour all of his failed experiments into a human-looking capsule. But wait, this Kemo that I just showed looks very different from the one that I showed previously. And that is because he has gone through many different designs over the years, which of course gives him a lot of costume potential. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. He became a recurring villain of the Metal Men, as well as being a villain in some Superman comics. He also has been a member of the Suicide Squad. I first found out about him from the movie Batman Mechs vs. Mutants, which I gotta say is an amazing movie. Ever since then, I fell in love with the character. But without further ado, let's get into his moveset. I'll first go over his dash attack and then get into his attacks and specials. He does have a gimmick, but I'll talk about it later in the video as it relates to one of his moves. It's definitely a fun one though, so please stick around to see it. His dash attack would be pretty simple, as he would just do a somersault forward. This comes from a scene in the movie that I mentioned earlier where he dodges Batman. I'd like to quickly say that his moveset is based off of both the comics and the movie. I thought maybe some would think that it would just be based off of the movie entirely, but no, it's not. Now we can get into Kemo's attacks. I'll first go over his grounded attacks and then go into his aerial ones. For Kemo's neutral ground, he would do the spinning kick thing that he does in the movie. He would get on his hands and his legs would be hitboxes. It would cover the top of him and to both sides of him. For his forward ground, he would do a combo of punches and chemical sprays. His chemical sprays are kind of his signature fighting move. It's what makes him unique. Characters such as Shaggy have this combo type move for their forward ground, so I think it would work well for Kemo. Kemo's up ground is kind of a simple one. He would swipe upwards with his hands. I have this image here to sort of visualize it, but I'd imagine him kind of swatting at the opponent above him. For Kemo's down ground, he would simply stomp downward. Due to his size, he would be able to stomp down and hit most opponents, especially smaller characters like Gizmo. Maybe it could send a small shockwave forward as well. With his grounded moves out of the way, we can now get into his aerial moves. For Kemo's neutral air, he would use an ability he has in the comics, this ability being his use of his pores. In the comics, he is able to spray chemicals out of pores on his body. In multiverses, I'd imagine that the spray would cover all around him and damage any opponents that it hits. For Camel's forward air, he would transform into Superman, which yes, he does do this in his comics. He would have the same move as Superman's. The laser eyes move is what I am talking about. I think Camel could quickly transform into Superman and shoot laser eyes forward. This would be a fun comic reference and would be a neat move. Maybe some people wouldn't like it, as it is just a copy of Superman's move, but I think it is a neat idea. Kemo's up air showcases another way that he can spray his chemicals, this time through his hands. Kemo has been seen shooting chemicals through his hands on multiple occasions. I think he could point his hands in the air and spray chemicals upward, hitting opponents that are directly above him. His down air is a fairly simple one. He would simply punch downward. However, this punch would be at a certain angle, so it would be a little harder to hit players with. If you do happen to hit a player, it would spike them downward at the angle he punched them at. I used this picture for reference, but maybe if you don't like the angle thing, he could also punch down similarly to how he does in this panel. 
Now that Kemmel's attacks are done, I can get into his specials. His specials really showcase what makes him unique from other characters. I will first talk about his neutral special. For his neutral special, he would spray his chemicals forward. This chemical spray has proven to be pretty dangerous. It can burn right through metal like it is nothing. It would probably do a decent amount of damage, but also deal a lot of knockback. This is purely so players can't get caught in the chemicals and not be able to escape. I think it balances it out well. For his forward ground, he would use his stretchiness to his advantage. As far as I can tell, the movie that I mentioned earlier is the only time that we get to see Camo being able to stretch like this, but I think he should totally be able to use it in multiverses. I think for his forward ground, he should stretch his arms outward a certain distance. I'm kind of torn on what happens after that. I thought that it could be fun if it were kind of a command grab, where if an opponent hits Camo, they would then be pulled back in towards him so he can do even more damage, or his arms could simply do damage themselves. Either way, I think this would be a very fun way for his stretchiness to be shown. For his upground, he would suddenly fly upwards for a certain distance. Gemmo has been shown flying a couple times. He has been seen doing so when he has transformed into Superman, as well as when he was being controlled by Starro. In the comics, Starro takes control of villains like Gorilla Grodd, Solomon Grundy, and Kemo. Booster Gold ends up kicking Kemo and damaging his containment suit. So he is then told to leave Earth so he doesn't break further, and he flies away. I'd like to point out that he usually is not this easy to break. Usually it is very hard to crack Kemo's suit, so it must just be specific to this comic. I'd imagine he could fly upward with both fists in the air, damaging opponents he flies into. His downground is where his gimmick comes in. I think for his downground he should have a counter move. Firstly, if an opponent attacks Kemo, but Kemo presses his downground right before, then the opponent's attack will go right through Kemo, and Kemo would attack back. Kemo has been seen with the ability to suck people into his container. I think that if someone punches Kemo, for example, their fist will then go inside of his container and get stuck briefly while Kemo punches them back. You're probably wondering what this has to do with his gimmick. Well, it's projectiles that work differently. Take this panel from the comics. Police are shooting Camo and they say, it's no good. Camo just absorbs our bullets, adding to his mass. I think that if Camo uses his down special on a projectile, he should grow a little in size. This would also increase his damage output, but make him easier to hit. Here's how I imagine it. Camo starts each match around the same size he is in the movie taller than the average human, but not by a lot. He can then grow to the size of the Iron Giant if he absorbs enough projectiles. Kemo has been seen the size of buildings, so it would make sense for him to be large. I think that this would be a really interesting gimmick, and he could be a counterpick against projectile characters. If he doesn't go against a projectile character, he can still hold his ground, but he won't just be able to grow in size. I'd imagine that people would have some fun with this, and it would be very unique. All of Kemo's aerial specials would be the same as his grounded ones. Now that Kemo's moveset is done, I can get into his costumes. He has a lot of options, so I'll start listing them off from left to right. I'd like for his default look to be his look from the movie. Then he could have a costume where he has his original comic book look. He could have a costume where he has his typical comic book look, which is different from the movie version. Then he could have his Batman Brave and Bold look, his look from DC Superhero Girls, a version where he is purple slash pink in color, a version where he is orange in color, Chiropter, I think that's how you say it, from the comics, Camo 3 from the comics, Kid Camo, this look where he has a mix of purple and orange, and this look here. I think this one is my favorite, as it makes him look pretty cool in my opinion. As you can see, he has a lot of costume potential, which adds to his character potential as well in my opinion. If multiverses devs are going to add a character, they probably want them to have a decent amount of costume potential. Finally, I'll go over his winning and losing animations. There is a comic panel where he literally says, GG. I think this would be a great winning animation. A little speech bubble could pop up and say, GG. 
For his losing animation, I think they can take inspiration from this panel here. I think his chemicals could fly up off screen, leaving an empty suit on the ground. I think these would be some pretty fun ideas and would fit Camo well. One last thing that I would like to mention, Camo has been seen able to talk a couple times in the comics, but only in a few. If he doesn't talk, it's mostly just him going, oop. So Multiverse's devs could decide if they want to give him dialogue or not. I think either works just fine. And I think we will end the video here. I enjoyed making this video a lot. Kemo has been a favorite character of mine, and I hope that I've convinced some of you to want him in multiverses as well. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I put a lot of effort into these videos, and these movesets take quite a while to make. Next week, I plan to make a video similar to this one. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.